Hi, Ron Knife for Hobby Wars. We're celebrating the 50 year anniversary of spacewalking. In 1965, cosmonaut Alexei Leonov was the first person to go outside of a spaceship. That year, astronaut Edward White was the first American to spacewalk and the first human to maneuver in space using a handheld compressed gas thruster. This is a NASA picture of this historic event. I've been watching a lot of NASA TV lately. The astronauts on the International Space Station are always spinning their microphones, doing somersaults, and playing with their food. What they need are some real space toys. Now, NASA appreciates ideas and help from you and I, so the Hobby Wars channel is rising to the occasion. We are sending NASA space toys. Tell me, if you were aboard the International Space Station, what is the most exciting thing you could imagine doing? It's what everybody aboard the International Space Station would love to do more than anything else. Free fly in space. Twelve men have walked on the moon, but only eight Americans have ever flown in space without a safety line attached to their spacecraft. They had a thruster pack that let them fly like an independent spaceship. This is a NASA picture of Bruce McCandless in 1984 on the first untethered spacewalk. Now NASA doesn't have any reason to let anyone go out and free fly anymore, but astronauts don't have to go outside to free fly. They're already floating in space. All they need is a thruster unit. So we're sending NASA the Hobby Wars orbital thruster. We call it the hot tube. It fits in your pocket. It's easy to operate. If you want to spin, hold it out and blow hard. To stop spinning, blow in the other direction. It's very durable, lightweight. It's easy to aim in any direction. Ed White had a limited supply of compressed gas. With the hot tube, you have an inexhaustible supply of compressed gas, your lungs. This would be a great educational tool. Students on Earth could design experiments with a hot tube, predict the results, then watch the astronauts perform them live. For example, if an astronaut keeps thrusting while spinning, could he get spinning as fast as an ice skater? Or they might use their 3D printer to see if they can design a little thrust nozzle and see if that could increase their efficiency. What about having the great space race? Astronauts could take turns timing each other to see who could fly the fastest from one end of the space station to the other, using only the hot tube for thrust. This is the first of a series of space toys we will be sending to NASA, so if you want to see them, subscribe to the Hobby Wars channel. Better yet, send a message to NASA. Tell them you want to see the Hobby Wars space toys aboard the International Space Station. Yeah.